Hey guys, my name is Natalie Hudson and I am the Fine Arts Department Chair here at Cambridge. Um, I am here to talk to you about printmaking. So printmaking is a combination of all of the classes that you could possibly take in um, the art department, truly. So I wanna kind of touch on what it is, explain it, um, and then kind of see how I can show you the different parts of what we have available um, to kind of lead the discussion and then send you off a little thought. So to start, um, I wanted to just show you on this screen. Um, printmaking is all the things. So what's wonderful about it is that it isn't just drawing. It isn't just painting. It isn't design necessarily, um, it isn't sculpture, but it is. So um, the best way that I can discuss it is to say that there are no rules, just processes. So my, um, my Masters of Fine Arts is in printmaking that I received from SCAD. So I'm very passionate about printmaking because of all of its opportunities and what it's able to do as a media. Um, it's a very exciting process that's very process intense, but um, it's really rewarding. So I have on our fine art website, if you go to chsfineart.wordpress.com, um, you can see that there is a printmaking tab and there's the really generic sort of course description at the top of that for printmaking one. Um, and it says that we go into three specific processes in printmaking one. So we do um, serigraphy, which is called silk screen. Um, we do relief. So that's kind of the traditional printmaking that people recognize where you carve and you use a brayer to use almost like a, a stamp process. Um, and then we also do a process called intaglio, which is also known as etching just without um, dangerous materials. <laughs> Um, so if you look on the top right of the screen, you'll see a kind of unfortunate video that's streaming of our French exchange that we would do typically here at Cambridge with um, the French students who come to Georgia typically in February um, to do an exchange program with Cambridge students. So every year, except for 2021 due to COVID, um, we would do a silkscreen poster process so that the visiting French students could come in and do a printmaking workshop and create a commemorative poster as their activity. And you can see um, standing at some of these stations, you'll see some of our Cambridge students running the workshop because they have become masters, if you will, of this technique, and then they get to interact with the French students. And, you know, it's a really great collaborative process. Um, so in silkscreen, especially, we work through a process of creating a design, um, and you're able to work through that design in any means necessary. So burned into many people's brains is that there is no tracing in art. We are not allowed to trace in any way. That is not the case in printmaking. Um, you don't have to be an amazing drawing student in order to make a wonderful design in silkscreen. We get to use processes like um, Photoshop and I teach a little bit of Illustrator and we, we kind of go through the process of creating image using different techniques. Um, so printmaking is very universal to a lot of people. Um, and Time and time again, students who have taken printmaking, a lot of times were unsure of what the process or what the class was per se. And then as they were in it, they were saying, I love this class. It's so much different than any of the other art classes in the department. Um, they feel confident. They feel excited about their process and their technique. And it's so rewarding to get a really great image. Um, so, I highly recommend taking printmaking, not just because it's something that I love to do, but also because it's a really, it's any man's process. Um, and then what I have down in the bottom of this screen on the right side is 
the, um, I turned a camera so that you could see the classroom space. So I'll just run out so you can get a sense of scale. Um, our space is such a blessing here. Um, not, there's, it's so rare to find this kind of studio space in a high school. Um, and our students here are so fortunate to have such wonderful facilities and equipment um, and materials to have access to make really incredible work um, through things that aren't typically available in a high school. So I'm gonna leave you with the thought process of why you might want to take a visual arts class in high school. And really my best recommendation is to consider when else in your future are you ever going to be guaranteed one hour a week for at least 18 weeks at a time, or I'm sorry, one hour a day each week, 18 weeks at a time to make something with your hands and join with a community of other people who are your peers, um, enjoying each other's time and space together. That doesn't happen very often. And with the art program, I think it's really wonderful that students get the chance to come together, make work, coach and um, cheer each other on through the process and really learn together in a really positive environment. Um, so other components to consider through the visual arts programs are that um, they're all semester long. So you're able to fill in all kinds of openings within your schedule um, year to year. And then also, depending on participation in a certain quantity of things uh, or sections, I should say, like semesters of visual arts, you can earn a fine art diploma seal, which is an acknowledgement on your diploma at graduation. Um, and as well, you can move toward um, AP art and design in any kind of process that you are motivated to do. So um, there will be a video during special programs night on fine art diploma seal and also a video on AP art and design. So I highly recommend if you're interested in either of those things as well to check those videos out. Um, and also feel free to contact me, Hudson N at FultonSchools.org with any questions regarding your courses um, that are available here at Cambridge and I can help answer any of those questions. So I'll leave you with the thought that the art courses are a great chance to just have a nice time and make work that you enjoy. Um, I think a lot of students going through the pandemic, especially, have started to reevaluate things that are important to them. And I hope that the arts are part of that because I think many of us have turned to the humanities and the arts, especially as comforts throughout this experience. And I think it's something that's really good for anybody regardless of skill. So contact me if you have any questions and I hope to see you in the fall.